wait till we turn that warm heater on and climb inside the safe warm van well guys let's go on a little adventure this will be my first uh winter camping adventure in the new van i do not have snow tires on the van yet so i got to be a little bit careful uh some of these dirt roads these state forests you can get stuck pretty easy because they don't plow them got to grab a couple things from uh, quick trip and then uh, we'll be on our way in the snow here so uh, i don't know it's a few inches high I'd say at least four three four inches high but i tried to stay in the groove here so we don't get stuck because like i said i do not have winter tires on here it's like a uh, pretty low tread so it's pretty though and it's super quiet out here it's beautiful wind's blowing all the snow off the trees here it's real quiet Let's put my winter coat on. Well, I forgot my little shovel, unfortunately, but the snow isn't super deep, so I'm just gonna kind of push it out of the way and uh, let's have a little bonfire.
First time out in the snow this year. Real light snow, beautiful trees. A lot of these, uh, what are they called? White pines or whatever. Got a little fire pit. I love this thing. There's literally like one little bottom piece you put down that kind of catches all the ashes. Then you just set that right on top of it. So it's super easy. But it was kind of cool because like there's these little holes around the top of this. So like the airflow like was coming through and like really making this fire like circulate. And then I guess there's, see there's holes in the bottom there. So like it just kind of evens out the burn. Throw another uh, two little logs in here. Let's really get this thing going here. Liking this thing, this is awesome. Anything that's simple, I enjoy. There's something about being nice and warm in the middle of the woods when there's like snow falling, you're surrounded by a cold forest and you're sitting here cozy with like energy, heat energy just pouring out towards you. I don't know why, it's just awesome. Where are my boots? I got these like, they're actually DC, which is kind of like a skateboarding shoe, but they're like got this thick wool or whatever you call in it. Uh, I should have probably wore boots, but I just planned to just, be staying right by the van, so I should be okay. It's my reverse camera, but obviously driving through all this snow, it kind of covered it up. But this got a little like solar panel in it. A couple hunters walking by. Oh God, he probably saw me record it. Let's stack this thing up here. I want to get a big fire going, see how warm it can get. Whoop. I feel like this thing's really safe. Like I feel like it really traps all the ashes and stuff like that. So as long as you're not stacking it way above the actual uh, fire pit, I don't think you're going to really have any issues with like pieces falling out or anything like that because there's a little trap door underneath. So anything that's hot, it's just going to get caught by that. Snow is really starting to come down now, guys. It looks beautiful. Hopefully we don't get stuck here. But just uh, burning through this firewood here, enjoying myself out in the middle of the woods. So let me quickly show you guys my setup. The getaway. I got the fire extinguisher, some protection. Here's my current power source, Ace Volt. Fits nice and snug in between the seats. Actually, it's not even snug. There's plenty of room. But um, here's my water source. If you didn't see my last video, I can turn this on. Three gallon water jug. This will be like a faucet. Toaster, a bunch of stuff for cooking in there. And uh, I got my purple and blue lights going tonight. And I got my three little white lights. Here's my bedding. So I got my cot, the legs on it to raise it up so I can put stuff underneath it. Zero degree sleeping bag. This is gonna be cold tonight. My comfy pillow here, three inch sleeping pad. And this one put my phone and stuff tonight. Here's a little bin I can pull out. It's got a bunch of extra propane, just a bunch of little things in there. Then now I do have a toilet just in case I need to use it. So uh, that's right there. Then I got my portable little fridge here. It's a fridge and freezer actually. So I uh, got that running. I'll show you how I wired it here in a second. Always got that I can uh, turn on and I have another one here. Got my little candle. This is a little pop-up table. I can leave that up or take that down in like uh, less than a minute. So got this up there because this will make it easy for eating and putting on my lap and uh yeah got change of colors flashlight temperature gauge here so quickly show you from the back how i did this so the power source so i can pop the bottle on that if i wanted to uh, this is the plug and i have it kind of in the gap here and then there's like a groove under here and i just ran it through the groove all the way up to there so there's nothing to trip on it's got a little couple spots where you can set your drinks now it's not a deep hole but it, you know help keep it from sliding around got a little spot to put your phone or your food or whatever so i do like that um, this is basically completely empty. This is a freezer side. I can turn it off if I'm not using it to conserve power, but all I literally got is eggs in here and uh, my orange juice and my little Celsius drink here. I'm gonna have this right now and then we'll be cooking that and having that. I do have this pad here strapped 
you can see it has these uh, two clips on the back. I have them strapped around the legs, so this pad's not going anywhere. But yeah, like I said, I can leave this set up up now, so this is going to make it a lot easier for going camping. I also have these two uh, rain guards, these WeatherTech rain guards on the front. So now, like, say it's raining or snowing or whatever, I can have the window cracked to let fresh air in, especially if I'm, like, cooking with propane. So I got that on both sides. That's just my little temperature gauge for the outside temperature. You can see I got it here. Well, my other van, I had them on these windows too, but this one, because it's a cargo van, these windows actually don't go down. So there's no need to get them because the windows won't go down either way. But yeah, I really like this van. Picked it up for $3,000, 245,000 miles, but it drives literally mint. So uh, it's definitely been a blessing. Dodge Grand Caravan cargo van. So that's why it doesn't have any of the rear seats, but this is literally perfect for camping. Cup we're gonna be using tonight it says, get lost in the light. Obviously this is supposed to be the uh, Northern Lights. We're gonna be seeing that on this channel. I've actually never seen them before. So the rest of this wood on there, it's really full still, but get this thing going. It's gonna be dark pretty soon, so. Ooh, she's really going now. Feels so good. If you guys want to get this thing i will have a link in the description to it got my trail cam here i'm trying to think what's the best spot to put it but this looks like a trail so i think i'm gonna to try to put it somewhere out towards this trail and see if we can catch an animal walking tonight that'd be sweet if you can see it it's right there so not too far away but i don't know if anything's gonna come by the van Otherwise, I would aim it towards the van. I just don't want to catch a bunch of cars or something driving by. It's kind of crazy. Lately, YouTube's been recommending me like other local YouTubers. Uh, we got Mav, obviously, most of you guys know who Mav is. He's got like over 2 million subscribers, but he only lives like an hour from me. I met him once in person, and that was at like the St. Cloud Convention Center. There was a ton of people there waiting to meet him, so I only got to talk to him for a few minutes, but seemed like a really cool dude. Bought a little bit of his merch. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever go camping together, but you never know. Now for smaller channels, the three channels that I found recently that are local to me in Minnesota is Tiny Cabin Life. He actually just passed me in subscribers. Congrats to him. And he has this little tiny cabin that he pulls around on a trailer. And then he also has another little tiny cabin in the woods. So I checked that channel out. That's uh, really interesting content. And then also Kenny of all trades. Dude, super cool. He has a truck, but he has like one of those uh, camper or RVs in the back of his truck. So really cozy little setup. And I also found Swag on the Trail 82. He does a lot of like uh, tent camping and stuff like that, but also another really cool dude. So shout out to those guys and uh, hopefully we will collab at some time. That would be fun. Wait till we turn that warm heater on and climb inside the safe warm van. And guys, this is just the beginning of this setup. Just wait, our setup's gonna get better. We're gonna go some epic places. We're gonna be in blizzards. It's got to get those snow tires. Fortunately, cameras don't like to pick up uh, snow very well, so it just makes it easier to see when you turn the light on. But it is beautiful out here, guys. Probably see some eyes out there if I keep shining this. You know there's something out there that knows I'm here. First snow of the year for me, guys, out here camping, but plenty more to come. Now that I'm getting more of a permanent setup that I don't have to keep taking down every time, and now I have my own vehicle to camp in. It's pitch dark out here. Been sitting around to the fire for a while. The fire is very contained. So I'm about to hop in the warm van here. Get this heater started, get the party started. All right, guys, we are in the van, but it's not safe yet. Now it's safe. So we want it to be warm. So it is time to turn this heater on. Currently it is 24 Fahrenheit outside 
and 32 Fahrenheit, if you can see that, inside. So it's way too cold. I want to take this coat off, and we want to be cozy. So it's time to uh, get this heater going. Well, we got our propane heater going, so we got our carbon monoxide detector. Always need that. And we're going to crack these windows because you need fresh air. All right, we got fresh air coming in here. We got our carbon monoxide detector. We got the heater on low. I'm going to actually bump it up to high for a few minutes just to get the heat jump started in here. Then we will take the coat off and turn her back to low. All the snow is going to be melting here real soon. That's what's nice about this cargo van because this isn't carpet, so it's just like a little mat. So I'm not as worried about all that melting power we got left here. <sighs> Oops, I didn't mean to turn the light on. So we're still at 92%, pulling 27 watts currently, which is the combination of uh, the compressors obviously kicking in right now. And uh, we have the lights on here. Let me turn this light off. That's kind of cool. It has a little built-in light. So yeah, 26 watts currently. See if we turned off that uh, other light, 25. So those lights, it's a good thing about LEDs, they barely pull any power, so you can run them for basically ever. I just turned this heater on like three to four minutes ago max. I turned it on high probably like a minute, minute and a half ago, and I'm already getting warm. So gonna take the coat off now. It's still probably cold in here, but right by this, it feels like I'm sitting by a fire, so. You guys can see the fire still going on. That's funny. Should aim my flashlight back there and see what it looks like. So let me quickly show you my new toilet. This has never been used, so don't worry, it's not gross. It's by Dometic. You just got your little lid like a regular toilet. Now, uh, what I like about this one is it's got more of a regular flush. So what you kind of do before you do your business is just pump this. I think they say to pump it like 10 to 15 times. So that'll be fine. Once you pump it, you do your business. Then you open this up and there's a flush. It's like a regular flush. You just press this. I'm actually holding it down so you don't have to flush that much. So obviously you probably wouldn't have to pump every time, but that is how you do that. And then when you're done, you just shut that. And this is like completely sealed. Let me let the rest of the water down. But it's completely sealed. So uh, suppose you're not supposed to get any nasty smells or anything like that. And this is where you put your fresh water, which is obviously in the top, which is what flushes it. And then your waste would be down here. There's actually this little thing that shows you how high or how full it is. You want to use this toilet paper. This is like special toilet paper. It's by like Theft Ford or something like that. But this breaks down a lot faster and better in one of these so that when you go to drain this thing, it doesn't get clogged or anything like that. All you gotta do is you gotta get something like this. Basically you just put a little bit of, you just put a little bit of this inside of here, or I think you can put it in a flush tank also. And this just helps make sure everything breaks fully down and it also kills any smell. Oh, get comfy for a minute here. I turned it back on low. I was getting a little too hot. So low for the most part is really comfy in the van because you know, it's not a massive area. So the heat just, the ceiling's only so high. So once it gets the heat up there, it just starts coming down. But oh, fresh air from these windows, the warmth from that. Oh, it's so nice. Got a little candle going. Gonna read Unlocking Kingdom Power, The Five Keys to Divine Healing by Tom Loud. I highly recommend any Christians look up Tom Loud on YouTube. You'll be amazed by what you see. Yeah, I'm just going to read this here. Hang out by the warm heater. Get some fresh air. And uh, then we'll eat.
Well, guys, we're having a little bit of a breakfast for uh, dinner tonight. We have uh, some egg sandwiches. I did uh, toast the bread, and then we got some peanut butter toast with some orange juice. Ooh! And I uh, got quite a bit of extra egg, and I got some egg here, too. So we're going to be eating good. Got my candle going. It's actually uh, 61 Fahrenheit in here, and it's 24 Fahrenheit outside. I actually just turned the heater off because I was getting kind of hot. So obviously this produced some heat and so did the toaster. So we're going to enjoy some of this. Oh, it's so warm. Mm, something about eating something nice and warm in the middle of the woods when it's winter. Just love it. Put a little bit of egg on the toast. Ooh. Mmm. Protein. We're using a give thanks plate. Always got to give thanks. I actually had a much better Thanksgiving theme video planned for my previous video. Long story short, I did something stupid and I ended up hitting this like small tree that was like really weird angled. I was trying to kind of back up in between these trees really tight. Wasn't checking my mirrors. I thought I was good and uh, broke the back window out. Thankfully, we have it fixed now, but uh that sucked. That was a learning lesson. I'll never do that again and just assume that I'm good. Normally I don't, but I just did this past time. So I did turn off the fridge because there's nothing else in there that needs to be cold. This was just more of like a test run for it. But obviously when I go on like multi-day trips, that will be extremely useful or when I, uh, I'm out longer during the day. Fire still going. Yeah, slightly going still. You can see the red from it. I can tell it's snowing more because uh, snow starts accumulating right there. Oh man, I don't want to get stuck. It's so beautiful though. Oh my gosh. Look at this guys, we got beautiful snow falling. We're inside the warm van. Oh, got a heater. Got all of our necessities. Got a fridge that we don't even need anymore. Let's see, 56 in here now. I've turned the heater down to low and uh, I'm just trying to balance. And like I said, that's because we're by the windows, but over here it's much warmer.
Good morning, guys. Just having a little coffee. Got my little Minnesota custom cup. We like to support like local places and stuff. So somebody like you know, did these themselves, like painted them or whatever they did. It's kind of got the Minnesota logo. A couple little, uh, I think they're called white pines. And then, I don't know, it's kind of like, looks like that birch tree look. I think that's what it is, right? I don't know much about trees, but yeah, we got this. Uh, same person that made this, made this. So figured why not have their water cup and their coffee cup today. I slept pretty good last night. It took me a little bit to really fall asleep. I was kind of tossing and turning, but once I fell asleep, I didn't wake up one time. I went and walked out there this morning and uh, the trail cam did not pick up anything, but I didn't see any tracks in the snow. So we'll eventually catch something on that trail cam, I promise. Well, thankfully the doors de thawed. Got to clean this bad boy up. A little bit of ash through there. I don't know. Keeps it from setting stuff on fire, I guess. We'll say this thing is really simple. So as long as your concern's not the inside looking like the outside, you should have no issue. It is. Oh, she's already slipping. She's already slipping. We're going though, we're going. 